right, people, welcome back to the card review. So today we are looking at an interesting trap card. So this is called Multiple Destruction. So it is a normal trap card that reads, if both players have three or more cards in their hand, both players place their entire hand to the bottom of the deck in any order, and if they do, you lose 300 life points for each card returned to the deck, then both players draw five cards. You can activate one multiple destruction per turn. So uh, at first, this card is interesting i must say interesting uh uh the best opportunity to play would probably be to go first you know i can definitely see you know with how fast and searchy the game is uh that if you can pull this off on you know particular decks like necros or maybe some tellers uh you can pretty much uh set them back a lot and i think that might be interesting to play so it just go ahead and you go first you set this make sure you have uh three or more cards in your hand so you know you can go ahead and you know set well, if you open up with five, you have to set this. So you get to pretty much set or play one monster. So you get to do that. Then you'll have three cards in your hand. Then go ahead and pass it to your opponent. Your opponent, maybe you're running, you know, Necros or something. Be like, all right, well, I'm going to summon Menju and search. And I'm going to play Brownick and search. And then grab this and roll to search and play prep and search, search, search. And you can just be like, all right, multiple destruction. All right, take all your hand. Put it at the bottom of your deck. I'm going to take my three cards, put it at the bottom of my deck. So uh, I'm going to lose 900 for me and then however for you. And then we go ahead and draw for five. So you pretty much, you have three cards. Now you get to go ahead and draw into five. So at least this card's not a neg. I must give it that. It's not a neg. Uh, my problem with it is that it breaks rule number one and rule number two of Yu-Gi-Oh. And if you guys do not know what rule number one and rule number two of Yu-Gi-Oh is, I will tell you now. Rule number one. Never let your opponent draw. In the game of Yu-Gi-Oh, you don't want to let your opponent draw. You know, there's particular cards that kind of like, you know, like Dark Bribe, where, you know, it's a fine card. You know, it's a counter trap, negate, spells or traps, like, oh, but your opponent draws a card. That's the reason why it doesn't get played, because you never let your opponent draw. Uh, there's a particular card right now, Book of Eclipse, that's being played, but, you know, uh, you got to wait the good with the bad, in which it's the best out to the Necro's lot. It doesn't target, it doesn't destroy, it just puts the monster down so they can't block it with... Uh, Trish, nor they can they block it with, uh, with Val. So, uh, pretty much they just can't block, no, no, gun. They can't block it with gun, nor they can I block it with Trish, because it doesn't target yet, it doesn't destroy either. So, and if you can go ahead and put the monster down and then just run it over, then you get out of the gin lock, you know? And so you say the monster's down. But, you know, if you don't kill a monster, then of course they get the monster gets pushed back up and they get to draw a card. So, that's the risk is right, but never let your power draw. That's rule number one. Rule number one. Never let your opponent draw. Don't don't give them any cards. Don't give them any resources. Don't let them draw. If they draw them on their own, and if you could stop it, you know, you know I would totally activate solemn, solemn judgment to stop your part of greed. I don't want you to plus, you know. I do not want you to plus, no. All right, so that's rule number one. You know, rule number two, you know, this one's a little bit more complicated, and it's hard for you guys to, might, to understand. Rule number two, you go. Never let your opponent draw. All right, yes. It's, that's how much you're circling stress that... I had to say it twice. It's rule number one and rule two. It, it's, it's like Fight Club. All right? Never speak about Fight Club. Never speak about Fight Club. Never let your opponent draw. Never let your opponent draw. It's simple as that. But uh, if you can go ahead and, you know, interrupt their search, you know, pretty much you're going to be exchanging them, uh, you know, the indefinites for unknowns. Switching the indefinites for unknowns. You know, they've searched. They definitely know what they have because they've searched for it. You're pretty much going to be like, all right, take those cards, put it at the bottom of your deck, and then draw a new hand. Draw five cards. It's a reset button. You know, it's for their hand. You know, so switching the definites for the unknown. So they may draw into what they need, but maybe not. Maybe they'll draw into more surgery cards. You don't know. But for when it comes to you, you don't neg. You get a fresh new hand. You get five new cards. And, you know, life points for draw, that's fine. You know, if if, if I could go ahead and take, if I had three cards in my hand and all I had to do was take, put them at the bottom of my deck to draw five cards, yes, sure. I just fucking, I plus one because I've used this card and I took three cards, put at the bottom of my deck and I drew five cards. So I plus one. You know, that's fine. If I lose life points, I don't care. Resources. Fuck life points. Soul charge. Evidence. All right. Fuck life points, it's all about resources. So you plus one, and you can go ahead and uh, kind of hit the reset button in your opponent's hands, totally fine. You know, so uh, those, you know, those fast, consistent decks, you go ahead and get them. You know what I think would be hilarious if you get an Exodia player with this? You know, they'll be like, oh yeah, I'm just searching for my pieces of Exodia. Oh my, I almost got it, I almost got my Exodia. You just play this, and just like, no, put them back. Shuffle them up. No, put them back on the bottom of the deck. You don't even shuffle. You don't even shuffle it up. That's the ridiculous thing. And you got four pieces of Exodia, Multiple destructions. Go ahead, take them four pieces, put at the bottom of the deck, draw five cards. You know, 
No, did you get that one piece of Exodia? Because I know you didn't get the other four. Just that would be hilarious. That would be fucking hilarious. So, um, do I think this card's good? Eh. It, it's iffy. It's iffy. It's really, it's really luck based. You know, for all you know, you know, drawing. You know, it breaks row number one and row number two of you go. Know, your opponent draws five cards. That's a whole new fucking hand. You know, who knows what they could do with a whole new fucking hand? But you also got a new hand too. So I guess that kind of resets the duel in a sort of way. In a sort of way. So uh, there you go. There's multiple construction. So go ahead and tell me what you guys think about this card in the comment section below. Oh my god, so many new cards. We're going to have a ton to look at on card review, people. A ton. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Card Review. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys not next week. <laughs> not next week, actually. Not next week. Because next week, uh, I'm going to be taking a break. But I'll see you the week after with some more cards to look at. All right, people. Thanks for watching.